the more I weave together incredible amounts of information, the more it seems to me that we are talking of two distinct situations running side by side. There were other extraterrestrial races at large on the Earth, and still are, as well as the extraterrestrial race which the Sumerians called the Anunnaki and other ancient texts called the Serpent Race. It could well have been that some of the others went to war with this reptilian Anunnaki. Ancient texts record these wars of the gods all over the world and these could include conflicts between different extraterrestrial races as well as those described in the Sumerian tablets that appear to involve Anunnaki factions fighting with each other. Today there are many modern accounts from people who claim to have seen humanoid-type people whose skin and faces look like lizards and frogs with large protruding eyes. Jason Bishop III, a pseudonym, an investigator of the extraterrestrial phenomenon, says that the reptilians are mostly much taller than humans and are cold-blooded like Earth reptiles. They appear to be far less emotionally sensitive than humans and most have great difficulty expressing love, though they are extremely intelligent and have very advanced technology. I must say that is an excellent description of the attitudes and behavior of the Brotherhood who control the world today. The modern accounts of reptilians match the descriptions of many gods of the ancient world in the surviving texts and legends. The Ubad culture existed between 5000 and 4000 BC, even before Sumer, in what is now Iraq and figurines of their gods are clear representations of reptile-like, lizard-like humanoids. You can see a lizard Ubad figurine holding a lizard baby in the picture section. The region where the Ubad Sumer cultures emerged is fundamental to this whole story and the Ubad figurines depict physically the descriptions of gods which dominated many ancient societies. The Central American cultures had their winged serpent god, Quetzalcoatl. The reptile species has a long, long connection with the earth, going back more than 150 million years to the dinosaurs and beyond. If we are to understand the true nature of life we need to free our minds from the bonds of conditioning and realize that what we see around us on earth is only a tiny fraction of possibility. The reptile species, like lizards and snakes, are but one form of the reptilian genetic stream in this universe. While the dinosaurs were not all cold-blooded reptiles, as modern research has shown, the reptiles and dinosaurs are closely related by physical appearance alone and both have spawned an amazing variety of different forms. The dinosaurs manifested as everything from flying creatures, large and small, to the 8-ton, Tyrannosaurus rex. Are we really saying that reptile dinosaur genetic streams that can produce such diversity, cannot manifest in a two-legged, two-armed form with a brain capacity through which a technically advanced consciousness can operate? More recently a greater understanding of the dinosaurs has revealed that many were very intelligent a hundred million years ago. To this day they hope you will not recreate the images of their snake ancestors for fear of death. The layout of the underground world discovered in Arizona was described by G. E. Kincaid as a mammoth chamber from which radiates scores of passageways like the spokes of a wheel. This is also how the modern reptilian underground base at Dulles, New Mexico is described and concentric circles of people, compartmentalizing different levels of knowledge, is the structure by which the Global Brotherhood manipulate the world. Arizona, New Mexico and the Four Corners area where the states of Arizona, Utah, Colorado and New Mexico all meet, are some of the most important regions on Earth for reptilian underground bases. A reptilian race definitely live within this planet in a physical form and the only question is whether they are native to the earth or if they originate elsewhere. Again it is probably both, a mixture of the two.